Becker houdt die bal binnen, daar lijken ze bij echt niet op te rekenen. En Johnson met de gelijkbaar. Johnson met de 1-1. Yes, hey, welkom bij Athletic TV. Wie hebben we naast ons? Bjorn Johnson. Hij spreekt alleen Engels, dus dat jullie het weten. So the most important thing is the playoffs. That's what you want. Yeah, it's, it's uh, after the playoffs, you know what's going on? The World Cup. Yeah? yeah? You have played at uh, 12 clubs, in it? I think it's close. Yeah, close to 12 or 13. Ooh, can you name it? You can name it. I will, I will. The second division, Portugal, uh, Spain, André Nios. Okay, I don't know the name, name. André Nios. Atletico. Atletico, CP, right? Uh, um, Lid, Lid Vitek of Bo uh, Bulgaria. L L yes, Litex, <laughs> Litex Lovic. Litex, Hearts of Midland. Yes. Uh, from Harvest Midlands, you go to uh, here, out of Den Haag. En dit is je eerste seizoen, je top scoorde. En nu je development. Hij zei het in Engels. Development. Ja, het is gaan heel goed. Wat zijn je predictions voor de World Cup? Want ik denk dat je markt gaat hoger en hoger. Ja, voor ons we spelen we IJsland die naar de World Cup gaat. We spelen Panama in de eind van mei, dus in juni. But uh, we are not at the World Cup, so we are uh, we are out because <laughs> yeah we lost 5-0 to Germany. Yeah, man, we are out. My my country is out. Yeah. Ty, Ty goes to World Cup. Ty, Ty goes so you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Uh, can you tell us how you how you become the player of uh, Ado Den Haag? Because uh, I heard uh, at the food clubs you offered yourself and you sent a few videos uh, to the football club to see you play. Yeah, um, but you know, at Otto, my agent uh, contacted Otto and Otto needed a striker and they kind of talked about it. Uh, I was offered to other clubs in Holland, um, I was offered to other clubs around, the, you know, around Europe, but I mean, I think I made the decision to play at Otto because my national team coach told me it was a good idea to be at a club that could have played to be important. Um, because in the end, playing is the most important rather than being in a big club and not playing at all. Yes, of course. So, you know, build myself up, yes. maybe play a good season in Otto, yes. which I'm doing. So, you know, just a good idea to be in a club where everyone would like you and you could relax and settle down and not have too much uh, uh, crazy um, skeptical about me or yes. that speak too much. Stories or something. Yeah, I can yeah. play without any problems yes. and focus on with, the football. With, without no pressure. Yeah, something. exactly. Yes, no pressure in play. So it's the most important was that. And, I think that's why we made the decision to come to Ardo. All right, all right. And uh, of course, Ardo, is it, is it your, uh, your last step? What is your dream club? Um, you know, I, for me right now, I don't really think about what my dream club and everyone is. I'm a big Real Madrid fan, so yeah. watching Real Madrid is the thing, the final, eh? you're in the final. But for, for me, um, I don't look right now too much into the future because I think you got to live where you are yes. and what's happening now. So. For me right now, I think the most important is you know, glory with yes. Otto and playoffs and winning something like that and getting into Europe. I think that's the most important. But um, after, you know, when, when the time comes, yeah. when the right yes. time comes, you know. Because yeah. uh, your mom is from America, your dad's from Norway. Your idol plays America right now. Ah, my idol, yeah. Yes. Ibrahimovic. Shout it, babe, won't you pop it for me? It for me. To the top, girl, now drop it for drop me. Do what she do, I got me going with OT. And she know I got that bag on me. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag on it. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag on it. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag on it. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag, girl. You gon' get a bag, girl. You gon' get a bag. You gon' get a bag, girl. You gon' get a bag. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag on it. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag. Wouldn't it be great to play together with you? 
Yeah, I have a friend who plays in now in LA Galaxy. I played with the uh, Perry Kitchen who plays in LA Galaxy now. I played with him in Hearts. And he said he's just a fantastic guy. And he's just like, sometimes in training, just watching. Just, you know, so Give him some karate kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's too. a crazy guy, man. So I think, you know, to play with someone like this is yeah. a dream. But, um, you know, I think when I look back, I'll be very happy that I played with Lexington. Yeah, he's he's okay, a great guy and he's a great player. And I think every, every person has their own you know, player that they say, hey, that was a great player yes. that nobody knew about. Yes. So yes. I have the same. Yes. So um, I look back and would be happy with what I played with. Okay. And America soccer isn't that big. Yeah, basketball is much bigger. So why did you choose soccer? Um, of uh, you got, you got I, the I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell the real story. <laughs> yeah. um, I was born in New York. Yeah. My dad and me moved down to North Carolina after a couple of years. Um, I played a lot of basketball. I still play basketball on my vacation, you know, with my friends. Um, I played a lot of hockey also. Uh, ice hockey, like ice hockey, ice hockey. Oh, yeah. yeah, Norwegian yeah, hockey. Yeah. So no fights. Eh? No, oh, no. Okay. and and um, you know, for me, I really love football because I always played it. And then I had to give up hockey, and I had to play only football and, and basketball. Yes. And when I got to about 13, 12, I had to make the decision. Of course, but. Uh, my dad asked me, well, you have to make a decision, you cannot play both because it's really difficult to play two sports in a full year and you never have a break. And um, I just said, like, for me, the people that I, the group of the people who were playing basketball at that time were really bad, like uh, getting into trouble at school, like, uh, you know, doing the wrong things after school, getting in fights, um, wrong decisions, you know, and the people who were playing football were more focused yes. on playing football yes. so in the future and on the future yeah. and you know doing things like that and i didn't know how to make a decision like that yes. but i think my father also said to me, i'm not trying to make your decision for you but the best option for you for your future as a person yes. not just football mm -hmm. or basketball is think about who the group is that you're hanging out yes. with and i think that is the most yeah. important for that yes. decision you know yes. because now i've become a better man and yes. also i'm also out of trouble yes. and Focus on playing yes, football. Play football. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. you do what you like. Uh, uh, you are, you are American. Would you play for the for the national team of Norway? Tell us why. Um, I've always every year I go to Norway. Yeah. Every year, whether I was five, mm -hmm. three, six, eighteen, um, until now, I go every year because we go to my summer. Like my whole family lives in Norway, mm -hmm. so. My family, like my brothers and my mother and my father, live in America, but the rest of my family lives in Norway. Okay. So um, we're always there for vacation or Christmas or summertime. Yeah. Family fun. I had the same the same heart for Norwegian as anyone else does. So for me, um, I always said I'm from two places, mm -hmm. and whoever called me first to yes. play, I would play. Okay. And I would not change, you know, about thinking about going back. Oh, I should yes. play for. So uh, Norway called me first to play, and I decided, yeah, it's the most best decision yes. for my future, but also for for me as a, a patriot, yes. as, you know, as a patriot for my my country. I said, yes, I would love to play for Norway. Yes. So it was very important. Shout it, babe, won't you pop it for me? Pop it for me. To the top, girl, now drop it for me. The way she do it, got me going OT. OT. And she know I got that bag on me. Woo. I bust a bag on it, bust a bust a bag on it. Scandering your name, telling things to you. What, what I do, how do you? How do you I mean, for me, that? as growing up, you know, I always had racism because uh, I'm I'm a mixed boy, so I, it's very difficult to say because, from one hand, on the white side, uh, they would, you know, be a little bit racist to me during the moments of just trying to be friends with them or trying to do something with them after school or something. But also the black people too, because if I hang out with a white person, 
and the black person would say, hey, he's not black, he's, he's white. Yeah, yeah. And then if I hang out with a black person, yes. the white people would say, I'm, yes, I'm yes, black. Yes, so yes. it always had that, I always, I have always had that problem with, you know, when I grew up, which group am I? And then I had to realize that I'm, every person is, you know, the same. It doesn't matter where, whether, which group are you in or not, you just be yourself. And in the end, I, I look back and I say, yeah, those guys now, they're all group of friends, but they're living in the ghetto. And I'm, you know, doing something with my life. Yes. And there are others who are doing really well, but they have no friends. Yes. So for me, I think that the most important is being who yourself, who you are, and you know, that person will help you be, you know, someone that someone else will like. You know, you know you'll get married or have friends or you know, have kids, and everyone that's important to you will be with you. So uh, what you're telling me is just spread the love. Yeah, just you know, it's not just it's not just about like being being uh, you know somewhat against the black person. It's also about blacks being against their against themselves. And I think that you know we're being deprived of showing ourselves to the world that you know we're great athletes, but sometimes people think that we're not very intelligent people. Also, and I think that we have to show them that we're very intelligent and that we don't see color. We just see a person. Yes. And that has to come from our side first, yes, and then, then the other side from the other side as well. Yes. So I think, um, you know, it's very difficult. I've lived in so many countries, I've seen so many different experiences, yes. and it's hard to you know, tell yes, you everything. Yeah. Spain, yeah. Portugal, uh, uh, Bulgaria, yeah. uh, for me, Ireland. The, mo the most difficult moment of racism in football was in Bulgaria. Yes. In Bulgaria, it's not that many people from who are not from outside of Bulgaria who are not football players. The only people who are from outside are mostly football players. Yes. Who are, you see every day, every day basis, and students. And for me, one game, um, you know, we, they were throwing fairs and they were calling us names and just you know really bad names and just. I try to think. Think about we're only playing. We're only kicking yeah. a ball yeah. on grass yeah. into three posts in a goal. Yes. You know, yes. I didn't, you know, like, and even in the game, I didn't realize that it was just so arrogant to yes. to make those kind of decisions. You know, speaking so bad to us, but in the end, every fan's against the other team, so they're always going to speak bad about the other one. Yes. So I just felt that you know, I didn't, I don't want. I always try to make sure that since in Bulgaria, when I play football, I don't focus on the fans at all. I don't. You know, I don't Let's see them. Football. Yeah, I just play football. Yes. I'm playing in my backyard, you know, with nobody there, yes. just me, like yes. when I was a kid, you know, at six years old. So, um, you know, yeah, just blind, everything yes. blind. Yeah. That, that also make you, make you uh, mental strong. Yeah. yeah, but I wasn't mentally strong in Bulgaria. Okay, okay, okay. But when, you know, after being in that experience, yeah. I got, yeah, yes. I developed myself to be mentally strong so that now I'm able to take yes. it. Yes, of course. To of Holland. course, of course. So yes. it works. So, uh, so you know the World Cup is in Russia. Um, I mean, there's two ways. For, for me, you know, like the, you know, the African players and the African teams and all the you know, all the other people who are like uh, you know, Mohamed Salah is probably yeah. going to have a lot of racism against him because he's the best player yes. in Africa. Yes. So, um, you know, all the South Americans as well. And I think most important is focus on what do you do. What are you there for? Yes. What are you there for? Just to win yes. the World Cup or to show the pride for your country. If they're going to speak bad about your country, that means that you have to show them your you know, skills yes. so that they don't speak. Yes. Because if you are winning all the games, yes. you have nothing to say. Yeah, nothing to say. So I think that's the most important is focus on the sport itself. I think racism is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, Bulgaria is an, is an old colony of the Soviet Union, which is yes. Russia now. Yes. Um, those experiences are very, you know, tough. Yeah, on scary. Mind, so, yeah, it's scary. You know, very crazy stories. But I think it's the best. The best thing is you stay in your own lane. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't focus on someone else. What they're doing, whether they're doing something bad against you or whether they're doing something good. I think the most important is focusing on yourself yeah. and on your team. And I think if you are 25 guys strong, 25 guys, I don't think anyone can break you. So I think that's the most important. All right. About uh, about uh, banishing uh, racism, do you think it is possible? Um, racism are, is really in so many different forms. So racism itself, 
it's not just about colors. It's also about you know team against team or um, um, my religion against your religion, and you know there's so many different differences. Everyone is everyone's going to be somewhat mixed in the next uh, 50 to what 230 years yes, from now. Yes. So I think racism will always be there because everyone will be different and everyone's unique. But I think we can try to be the most positive about everyone else's differences. I think that's what we have to do. Is, you know, I go, for example, me, I'm American, but I have Norwegian culture, yes. and I've been to South America and seen those cultures, and I've gone to Mexico, and I've gone to, you know, I've gone to go to Africa, and yes. I've gone to go to Asia, but I, I respect their cultures, yes. and I don't use racism against them because I want to learn from them. Yes. Yes. But I think we have to all realize that we're all coming from the same place, and, you know, everything needs to be, you know, we're all on the same level, we're all people, so it doesn't matter whether you have more money or less money or it doesn't matter. I think racism is in all forms and you just need to deal with it. But being positive is the most important. Thank you. 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 Thank Brand new? Brand new. Brand new. Okay, picture, Official. picture. Yes. Appreciate it. Yeah, so it's here. Contigo con el... Ah, yeah. Yes. Yes.